Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Biomed. Welcome to the Biomed Cafe channel. In this channel, complex biological and medical content are presented in a simple, classified and summarized form. Also, I have designed a quiz game for you. I will explain about quiz game in the end of this video. The topic of this video is the extracellular matrix. Please subscribe to this channel and if you like the contents of this video, please like it. The extracellular matrix. It's a non-cellular three-dimensional macromolecular network which surround animal cells. It has water, proteins, and carbohydrates in its structure. It plays roles in cell support within a tissue, regulation of intercellular adhesion and communication, and control of cell migration. Extracellular matrix components can be divided into three subgroups. Protoglycan, fibrous structural proteins, and fibrous adhesive proteins. The first component of the extracellular matrix is protoglycan, but at first I want to explain about glycose aminoglycan. Glycose aminoglycan is a long, highly acidic, negatively charged and unbranched linear polysaccharide. It can be divided into four subgroups. Hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate, heparin sulfate and heparin, and cratan sulfate. It has repeating disaccharide units in its structure. The first sugar is an acetyl glucosamine or an acetyl galactosamine. The second sugar is uronic acid. Protoglycan. A protoglycan monomer is a central core protein plus large number of the glycose aminoglycan. Protoglycan organization. Protoglycan monomers bind by non-covalently bound to a single hyaluronic acid chain to two link proteins. One binds to the core protein of the protoglycan, another binds to the hyaluronic acid. A protoglycan is made of about 100 protoglycan monomers. The second component of the extracellular matrix is fibrous structural protein. The extracellular matrix contains several fibrous structural glycoproteins. Two examples of these proteins are collagen and elastin. Collagen. Collagen is a rope-like, triple-stranded helicon and hydrophobic protein. It has a large amount of proline, and many of the proline and lysine are hydroxylated. It's located in connective tissue cells of all multicellular animals. Collagen 
can be divided into five subgroups. Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, Type 4, and Type 5. Type 1, 2, 3, and 5 are fibrillar collagen, but type 4 is non-fibrillar collagen. Its sheet-like meshwork is a major part of basal lamina. It assembles into a multi-layered network. A structure and organization of collagen. At first, the collagen chains or the pro-alpha chain are synthesized on membrane-bound ribosomes. Then, the pro-alpha chains are exported into the lumen of ER. Three pro-alpha chains combine together and form a pro-collagen or turbo-collagen. The poor collagens are converted into collagen molecules by the removal of the telopeptides in the extracellular space. Collagen monomer molecules combine with each other to form collagen fibrils. And finally, several collagen fibrils aggregate to form a collagen fiber. Elastin. Elastin is a fibrillar cross-linked, random coil, and hydrophobic protein. It's rich in proline and glycine, and contains little amount of hydroxyproline and hydroxyserine. Function of elastin. It gives the elasticity to tissues and it gives flexibility to tissues. It's located in skin, blood vessels, and lungs. A structure and organization of elastin. At first, proelastin or tropoelastin are synthesized and membrane-bound ribosomes. Then, the proelastin are exported into the lumen of ER. The proelastin are converted into elastin molecules by the removal of the EBP in the extracellular space. Then, elastin molecules deposit onto the microfibril scaffold. And finally, elastin molecules cross-linked and form an extensive cross-linked network of fibrils and sheets. Fibrils adhesive protein. The extracellular matrix contains several fibrils adhesive glycoproteins. They bond to both cells and other matrix macromolecules. They help cells stick to the extracellular matrix. Two examples of fibrils adhesive proteins are fibronectin and laminin. Fibronectin. Fibronectin can be divided into three subgroups. Plasma fibronectin, cell surface fibronectin, and matrix fibronectin. Plasma fibronectin is a soluble dimeric form. It's located in a blood and other body fluid, and it plays roles in enhancing blood clotting, enhancing wound healing, and enhancing phagocytosis. The second group, cell surface fibronectin, is oligomers of fibronectin. It's located on the cell surface, and it plays role 
in helping cell-to-cell -cell attachment. Matrix fibronectin is highly insoluble fibrilla fibronectin. It's located in extracellular matrix and it plays a role in helping cell adhere to the matrix. A structure of fibronectin. It's a glycoprotein and it's made of two polypeptide chains. They are similar but not identical. They are joined by two disulfide bonds near the C terminus. Each chain is folded into a series of globular domains. The domains are joined by a flexible polypeptide segments. And the domains are specialized for binding to a molecule or a cell. Laminin. It's secreted by epithelial cells. It is an asymmetric cross-shaped structure. It has three polypeptide chains that are held together by disulfide bond. Each chain is made of more than 1,500 amino acids. It has high affinity binding sites for components of the basal lamina. It plays roles in binding epithelial cells to type 4 collagen of basal lamina and is located in basal lamina. A structure of laminin. As I told you, laminin has three polypeptide chains alpha or A chain, beta or B1 chain, and gamma or B2 chain. Alpha or A chain. It's a straight central long chain. It ends with a large domain at one end, and it has three globular domains at the opposite end. The second chain is beta or B1 chain. It makes a double helical configuration around the alpha chain and it has two globular domains at the opposite end. Gamma or B2 chain. It makes a double helical configuration around alpha chain 2 and it has two globular domains at the opposite end Basal lamina. It's a continuous extracellular thin mat that underlies all epithelial cells. It wraps around muscle cells, fat cells, and Schwann cells. The basal lamina separates cells from the connective tissue. It's linked to the plasma membranes of cells by a specific receptors. Molecules comprising basal lamina are synthesized by cells that sit on it. Components of basal lamina are huge quantity of type 4 collagen together with protoglycan, primarily heparin sulfate, and some glycoproteins like laminin and fibronectin. It plays a role in determining cell polarity, influencing cell metabolism, organizing the proteins in neighboring plasma membrane, facilitating cell migration, helping to regenerate tissue after injury, and inducing cell differentiation. Basement membrane has two parts, basal lamina and lamina reticula. Basal lamina has two parts too, lamina 
lucida o rara, and lamina densa. Lamina lucida is an electron lucent layer. It has close contact with plasma membrane of epithelial cells that sit on it. Lamina densa is an electron dense layer. It's found below the lamina lucida and it's made of type 4 collagen with protoglycan, laminin, and fibronectin. Lamina reticula is found below the lamina densa. It connects the connective tissue and it's made of collagen fibril. You can see here all components of the extracellular matrix such as collagen, elastin, protoglycan, laminin, and fibronectin together. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and if you like the contents of this video, please like it. Now it's time to the quiz game. I have put the link to the quiz game in the description of this video. Download it for free and enjoy it. In the next video, I will talk about another biomedical topic in a simple, classified and summarized form. Until the next video, bye!